Hello everybody out there in the Frontline Universe, I'm Chris and welcome back to another comic book review and in this review I'll be reviewing Nightwing issue number two, Nightwing and Raptor. Yeah, that, that about, this cover about sums up their, their partnership. Anyway, I'm going to show you some artwork, some preview art, and then we are going to go into this review. But as always, as I'm showing you guys some preview art, i got to warn you guys, spoiler alert, there will be spoilers in this review. I will be talking about the book in whole from beginning to end. So if you do not want any spoilers, I recommend taking this video, pausing it, putting it in your watch later file or folder, whatever you want to call it, and then come back later and we'll see if we agree, disagree, discuss, whatever. We'll talk about the book. So, before we go into the review, though, as always, I do like to give an overview of the book, non-spoiler. So, Nightwing, as we all know, ends up teaming up with Raptor. And Raptor is a very interesting character. I think Raptor is a very interesting character that can be an anti-hero at some point. And you'll understand that after you've read this issue. But I feel like Raptor has his own agenda when it comes to the Court of Owls, or the Parliament of Owls, as they call themselves. Uh, I, <clears throat> I like the chemistry between Nightwing and Raptor in certain scenes. Nightwing is very much um, not liking working for the Parliament, but now that he has a partner, he kind of has to follow along with what they want. And you can see that in this issue, and he's not happy about that. And... I don't know, like I said, Raptor looks like he has his own agenda. There's this part again where, and I feel bad, but we get to see Batgirl a little bit more. And we, I guess that Batgirl and, and Nightwing, not Night, um, Batgirl and Batwing aren't together anymore because uh, there's a scene in this book that definitely gives the hint of her and Dick's relationship or past relationship. So I guess there might still be something there. I don't know, but we'll get into that when we talk about the book. I like the action in the book. <clears throat> I like where the book is going. And hopefully after we get past this story arc, we won't have to deal with the... See, the thing is, and this was my problem with Nightwing since the beginning, since the first issue, was the fact that I wanted Nightwing back as Nightwing. Not as, you know, a spy, not working undercover. And what happened was he went straight from being Agent of 37... Right back to being Nightwing. Yes, he's being an Agent 37, so to speak. He is. Um, he's being an Agent 37 while being called Nightwing. He's working for the Parliament of Owls, but he's really undercover to basically take them down just like he took down Spiral. Now, it worked for Spiral. They got taken down. I don't feel like it's going to work with the Parliament of Owls. I feel like that the Court of Owls is a lot bigger than Spiral. I don't think it's going to go down and I don't think he's going to have Max Lord to ba to back himself up like he did to take down Spiral. So I don't know and I don't know where Batman is feeling with all this either. I feel like Nightwing is very it's very weird where this story arc's going right now and the artwork for this book, I find it okay. Um I do like Brett Booth's art a bit better for like Titans during the Titans book. I really enjoyed that. Uh I'm not too fond of the way Nightwing looks in certain panels of this book and I don't like the way the artist kind of does the <clears throat> the costume I want to try to get a good shot of the costume a good front shot of the costume kind of like kind of like that I don't I don't like the way they have it the artist doing the costume but that that's just nitpicking now all in all though I think the the story has promise Again, like Aquaman, like a few other books, I'm hoping that this is just a first story arc to get us, you know, reuse or get us into the book, and then the book will take on a life of its own, so to speak. So I gotta say, this is a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I really want to get away from the Parliament. I want Nightwing to be back as Nightwing dealing with, you know, his own issues without having to be a, a, a double agent, so to speak. And I'm tired of the Court of Owls. We need a break. We've been hearing about the Court of Owls for five years now, since the New 52 started. Uh, I, I would like a break. I truly and honestly feel like I need a break from the Parliament of Owls. And hopefully, when October comes around and we get that Halloween special, hopefully maybe that's where things will move off. Because we do got a... Uh, do we have it in this book? I want to see. If we do, I'll show you guys real quick the um, advertisement for it. And I don't think it's in this book. It was in the previous book, so I apologize if it's not. But there was a, um, basically the Monster Men, as they call it. 
No. It's up, yep, up, up, the last page. So hopefully when this crossover happens, things will be better with Nightwing. It's Nightwing, Detective Comics, and Batman. All three books will be crossing over in October. Which I don't really consider a Bat Family a book crossover thing, but whatever. So that was the non-spoiler <clears throat> review for Nightwing. So now we're going to get actually into the book. And there's really, I, you know, again, Raptor wants to prove that everything that Nightwing learned from Batman was wrong. And Nightwing doesn't want <clears throat> Raptor's help. But of course, Raptor gets a bit insistent. Nightwing and Raptor go off on the mission that the Parliament wants them to go off on to stop Cobra. They end up stopping Cobra, who is basically people laundering, so to speak. They're bringing people in. They have like, these mutants. I don't want to show this page just because it's a little disturbing, but um, there's some mutants that are on this ship or whatever. Raptor has a really bad sarcasm to himself. But anyway, um, it turns out that the Parliament ends up taking the people from the boat and they're going to basically use them as slaves. And Nightwing wants to save them, but unfortunately, because he's partnered with Raptor, they end up delivering them to the Parliament of Owls. And he has no choice. But basically, as Raptor says, he's playing the long game. And what the long game is, is basically he let this ship go. But once he figures everything out, instead of saving just one ship, he'll be able to save all the ships. He'll be able to stop more of this from happening if he just waits it out. Instead of saving just one ship, and then they'll find a different way to, you know, uh, people traffic to themselves. So... And then Raptor makes mention that he's playing the long game too, which has me wondering what's going on with Raptor. He's like, I have something again. I have something big uh, that I can use against the Court of Owls as well. So I'm wondering if Raptor is working for the Parliament to take them down, just like Dick, or if Raptor's working with the Parliament and just has no care in the world. You know, he does whatever the hell he wants, and if he feels like taking the Parliament down, he will. So in the end, he kind of intrigues Nightwing enough to end up taking Nightwing again onto the next mission. And um, unfortunately, there's a scene where Nightwing makes a date with Barbara and he ends up, um, sadly, he ends up standing her up. And it was thought to be, a spoiler here, it was thought to be a date. That's why I, I figured her and Batwing weren't working out. And that's kind of sad. But obviously Dick's doing this to keep Barbara safe and also to figure out what's going on, you know, to figure out what's up with Raptor and to continue forward with Raptor. I, I, I like this issue. I really did. I just... Raptor is a very interesting character, a very interesting new character that's being introduced. Uh, I definitely want to read more about him and I'm really interested in seeing where him and Nightwing go. I'm interested in seeing where Nightwing's going to go with this whole Parliament of Owls. But then again, I don't want this to go on too long. I, again, would like to see Nightwing back in the streets. And I, I, I feel Batman not being involved. I think he is involved somewhere in the background. Because if he's not, that's kind of out of character for him to just let Dick go on his own. Especially after he sent him after Spiral and was keeping in touch with him while he was in Spiral. I don't know. Just for me... I enjoyed it though. I thought it was an interesting read. I leave it up to you guys when it comes to Nightwing. I'm sticking with Nightwing because I have hope that at some point Nightwing will get better. So that's my review for Nightwing. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is Nightwing good? Are you not enjoying it? Are you enjoying it? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. And until next time guys, we are Comic Frontline, your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Uh, videos go up each and every day there's at least one a day so if you're not subscribed to comic frontline you might want to consider it this way we're in your sub box and you do not miss out on a single review video ass spidey crazy stuff there's always something crazy on comic frontline and we love doing it because we do it for you guys so hopefully you'll subscribe also don't forget to check out comicfrontline.com lots of written stuff going up as well as the videos from youtube till next time everybody take care keep reading keep collecting and i'll see you guys really soon in the next video